Resi both go down here. Yeah, that's right. And I, I think another piece of that is Halavis is a shot caller of this team. Could benefit from playing Gibraltar. You get, to, you get to sit back, you get to see everything that's happening, and you get to kind of make decisions based on that. So I think it could fit the, the play style well as we now find themselves in a fight here. Oh my goodness, he's going to get literally stuck on the door right there, and Hal's going to take advantage. Gets a couple good cracks. They're going to heal back up, and here comes the push. TSM wants smoke right now. But one knock's going to come through. This is the snipe down on Wraith effect. He takes out Anmu, takes out Vayne, and just like that, snipe down on the flank. That's huge. Snipe down coming from Halo is known to be one of the best positional players. He's so good at flanking. He knows his, his awareness and his, his ability to outplay is bar none one of the best in the game. I love Snipe down on Wraith for that reason. You just saw it. The flank, the wherewithal to clutch up when it matters. And of course, on controller, you want your Wraith being close quarters. So I think it's, it's what Snipe down can do well more than what Pal maybe did not do on Wraith. And it clearly showed right there. Brilliant stuff from TSM. Yeah, and I think also, now that I thought about it for another 10 seconds, is that uh, Gibraltar can also be the entry fragger. So Hal can still have that aggressive type play style. He has the dome in case he ex overextends. So he has that kind of escape that Wraith used to have more of. Now Wraith yep. kind of has the escape, but you kind of got to use the time wisely. And we see another rat in Thermal Station. We know how far that got. <laughs> we, that got um, complexity last game. Yeah, I think it was Monsoon that was ratting in game yeah. one. Didn't work out well for him. And look at that, Solafide changing up their play style here. Recognizing, hey, we got a thermal station finish. We scanned the beacon. We know exactly where this is going to end up. Let's just stay put. They find themselves in that spot that's kind of similar to center of Skyhook. You have high ground. You can obviously take a look at every single facet, every area of thermal station, get long range shots, get some poke. We know Solafide loves using G7 scouts in the hands of Resulta, of course, on Gibraltar. So expect Solafide to try and play some long range poke, to try and get some KP from long range as teams are rotating in. I like that decision from Solafide. We'll go back and check in on them periodically, but they're not going to find themselves action. Guess who will? TSM finds himself a fight early on. Yep, and Hal ends up using the dome. He he is peeking, he is aggressing so much, but he has that shield. He has the dome. He has so much power when he's playing Gibraltar. Refs with the amazing shots, takes out Tech Candy here, and can they finish off the rest of the team while it it's not just one team, it's actually two or three teams around here. That's right, it is actually stacked right now and a bit insane and you'll see if TSM will farm that up as a result to take advantage of how much activity there is right now opportunities for third parties over here we'll see if they decide to push it reps on bloodhound now so interesting having played Watson for a long time on TSM and then having played Gibraltar bloodhound a little bit different but I gotta say one thing about reps the probably the most versatile player in Apex Legends in my eyes he's fit whatever role he's needed to fit for TSM for quite some time now. I've been so impressed by reps. I think one of the most underrated players in terms of, I mean, everyone obviously knows knows he's great because he was on TSM for a while, but you talk about Hal often, you talk about Albert Lully often on this TSM roster, reps was really the glue, the rock that held this team together in my eyes. Absolutely. He was able to kind of calm them down when they were all heated up. Um, I remember I, when I was playing with Albert Lully uh, in a Twitch Rivals tournament, and it's just like, it, when, when he got upset, like, you need to be his teammate to kind of get him out of that, uh, you know, anger or frustration. So playing with him for a couple of days it wasn't um, wasn't enough to figure out how to bring the morales back up. But we had some unfortunate circumstances there. So reps definitely the glue, the, the, the peanut butter and the sandwich, whatever you want to say. Um, and one thing I want to note is I played with reps a long time ago and is just as good as every other player on that TSM roster. Just because you're playing support doesn't mean you're any less of a player. He can play that aggressive role. He can play that support role. He will do whatever is needed. That's right. Good insights on reps, especially for someone who's played with them before. Thank you, girl. As always, we just saw Pulse 3. It looks like he was playing a horror game right there. Tiptoeing his way through the tunnel, and all of a sudden a wraith pops up out of nowhere. Gets the knock early on. Nice shot from them. Farmer Lucas getting a knock on him. You know, just like that, the farm boys find themselves in a good spot. Absolutely. Having this tunnel with the Caustic is kind of what you would expect. You would expect the Caustic to play these tunnels, but they have to rotate into the zone now. KSE! They are in train yard. 
They are. KSC rotating the fragment. I'm with Team Liquid now in train yard. Here comes the port. Oh no. Oh no. That's so sad. He drops the port right above his down teammate. But then decides, you know what? I made a mistake. Let me make up for it here. Pops off against Zach Mazer and KSC in this train yard fight. Brilliant work from them. Just like that. Team Liquid survives for now, but Nocturnal's not going to be able to get res for at least some time until they can clear out some more of this team nearby. That was like an unfortunate situation, but Albrelelli made the best of it. He's like, you know what? I wasn't able to get the portal off, but I'll just take advantage of it. They're going to try and peek up on us, and I'm just going to take them out, and Zach ends up going down, and Albrelelli just put in every EVA shot he could into him. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at Team Liquid. They survive for now. Good job from them. They get the revive. They get to reset. Now Team Liquid will just be kind of posting up, but they will have to make a rotation here in about 30 seconds. Not currently in zone as it stands. So we'll see how they decide to rotate through. They're going to continue to play edge and playing caustic here. This te new team comp has worked well for them. They tried to go Horizon early on and decided to make the switch to caustic here. And, of course, Gibraltar in the hands of Nocturnal, which, by the way, fun fact, Nocturnal and Albrelli literally did a coin flip to see who will play Gibraltar. And, uh, yeah, Nocturnal lost that one. He's been, he's been on Gibraltar, and it's been working out well for them. Oh, <laughs> I did not know that at all. That's, that's a cool, interesting fact. And back to the thermal zone, it's nice to get a lot of fights outside of it if you're going to be rotating late, like Team Liquid is right now, because of these choke points. And the more teams that you get out, the easier it is to get into this zone. So, 17 squads still remaining, and we're back on board with Team Liquid to rotate in. Yeah, we'll see how this plays rotation. Let's go ahead and jump into a listen in with Team Liquid here in a moment as we got to see if and how they decide to play this rotation because they are getting gate kept. There's a team right in front of them. They got to win this 3v3. They got to take care of it. Let's jump in to a listen in with Team Liquid. Uh, complexity here. We can go fence over. We can go fence over and we can go tunnel too if we have the contingency plan. Contingency. Yeah, contingency. They that way. Enemies have passed through there. This is Team Cockhouse. Yeah, yeah, we're going with your plan, Brandon. Maybe we can just go straight up to the hill. Yeah, that's also true. There's a portal right there. They're fighting over here on the south end. Let's get involved in this. I'm bubbling. Getting shot from crack house. I need to make you a portal. Than that. I'm ripping a bat, ripping a bat. I'm just continuing to move forward. I'm assuming you're yeah. fine. I'm throwing some LOS barrels. They're on the wall here. I'm letting them fight. I'm walking up behind them. I'm nading them. No bubble, no bubble. 10 yeah. seconds. I'm, I'm popping a bat. Look here, look here on the left. Yep. Rest scan. In bubble, in bubble. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, beam this Gibby. Yep. I'm ripping a bat. There's a new teammate in front. We need to go back. Okay. We can double back. We can double we, back. We're, we're just playing gas. We're playing gas. Maybe we can just show? I only have a few certain. We can show bring in the corner pocket. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I'm looking for you, Tom. You're fine. Drop extra syringes if you got them. There's barrels right here. There might be people above our head. Popping a syringe. I think they might be fighting on this side. I'm climbing up. Can you look at crack house towards the, the field? I don't see anything. I'm going up on I'm hill. dropping you a medi. Yeah, I just need to take a second full I heal. think we need a fight for platform over here. <sighs> Team up here, I'm pretty sure. I think I just saw them. Well, no, TSM's going to be over there. What hmm. did you ping? I was going to say platform, but TSM's going to be over there. Okay. Can we go gondola in? Here? Yeah. Yeah, we can walk. Someone just fell off right here. Right That's a duo. That's a duo right here. Okay. Oh, wait. I only see two. It could be a duo. I saw no, give me right, give me, give me blood right here, give me blood right here. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're jumping out, they're jumping down, go, 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 yeah, go, yeah. go, go. Just me out of these guys. Be careful, you have your TSM in our back. I can have an ult excel if you want to let me hit it for ult. Go for it. Okay. Oh, there's a Gibby right here. They see us. Blood on blue. They're a duo, they're a duo. They're both on blues. Blood on okay. 50 blue. Look at that. You want to fall down or what? I, I got the kill, oh, I got the kill. Dead, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait. We're gonna play for height. We're playing southwest. Trust me, yeah, right, right in front of you, right in front of you, Mac. 
Okay, then I'm pulling down. Okay. I gotta hit it back. Take him, bubble. Okay, coming. I'm gonna be able to push fine. Don't bubble, don't bubble, don't yep, bubble. Yep, yep. We need to look for jungle, Jim. South. There's a team on it. Oh, right here. Portaling down. Look right here, look right here. They just jumped down. Wraith. Wanna look at that? Yep. Yeah, let's step up on that a little bit. Be careful about south mirroring us. Yep. I hit 70 get, on purple. Don't get too crazy with your angles, because I don't have portal. I don't think anything's gonna happen here. Let's go back. Let's, let's go back. Help. Let's go back. This is an unnecessary okay, uh, risk. Go back. Hey, yo, sword, 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 northeast! I got it. They're stepping up south. I'm gonna hit a bat. They're on north. They're on me. I can't help you. Come, come to me now, if you can. I gotta go around the back because they'll give you all. Yeah, it's okay. I'm med killing right now. This is my last bed, okay? All right, I'm popping my last. Oh, look here, look here, look here! Get that gimme, get that gimme! All right, the cost's coming. Cost six lasered. He went down. Flesh. You see me? Moving Popping up right here. Cell. Yeah, yeah. I got us. Come. You're too far forward. On me is good. Oh my god! Are you fucking. Pop barrels and just keep going back. Pushing. Just, yeah, yeah, just no go, way. just go. Oh, you can see me through the smoke. You got a fucking one way. All right, and there you have it from Team Liquid. Awesome listening to understand who is the true IGL of this squad. I think it's Clear Girl, it's Albert Lely, and it's good to see how they kind of have Nocturnal as a secondary IGL, Flanker contributing as well. Good perspectives on Team Liquid, but when you play edge like that, that's what you risk. Really, really tough, because there's teams literally in every direction pushing on your backside. Yeah, that's the most frustrating part, is when you feel like you have the advantage, but there's so many teams around you that they're just preventing you from getting the kills that you want, and you just can't do anything. It's out of your control. Yeah, that's right. That's why right. early rotate is important, especially with a defensive character like Caustic. In my eyes, Caustic is better suited as, as a early rotate team and post up, kind of like how people played Watson back in the day. Personally, in my opinion, I know some people play Caustic aggressive. I know Solfita did it for a while, but they're back on Bloodhound. So if you're going to play Edge, I think you need a Gibraltar. You need a Bloodhound on that team composition in my eyes. But nonetheless, good perspective there. Speaking of Solfita, we jump on board of them. Take a look at their positioning right now. Take a look at their situation. Gold Shield for Resulta for Double Heal. And then, of course, Evo fully kitted shields from Gentrifying and Designful. The Solafide Controller Boys, all three of them playing on Controller, are in a really good spot here in their home turf on, and, uh, and Thermal Station. As we're going to get a very southwest pull here on thermal station zone towards those southwest houses. Yeah, and you were saying earlier that you wanted to see Solafide play a little more passive, and they've racked up about eight kills, I believe, which is what I saw in the in the feed, but that is amazing. Unfortunately for them, though, the zone is coming in, and Solafide is getting out of this tourney. Yeah, that was perfect. I think the point I was making on Solo Fide was, hey, stay posted on that top center area. Oh, don't necessarily push for kills. They stayed back and they just gate kept. As a result of that, they got the 78 kills that I was hoping they would get. That was perfectly played from Solo Fide. They finally do get taken out to the hands of Complexity. Nice job from Monsoon and Complexity popping off right now with uh, two kills for Monsoon, and they are well positioned here. Complexity, who's in the top five, in a good situation. And take a look at that, TSM alive and well. Blow it up in the chat right now if you're a TSM fan. If you're a Complexity fan, who do you want to win? Let us know. We'd love to hear it in the chat, as it's going to be a crazy finish here. And don't forget to use those hashtags as well. But TSM, they got the outer edge of the zone. But it looks like NRG really have closer to the middle of the zone. So it seems like they might even have the highest chances of winning here. Until a team pushes them. They can't hold the whole building later on. They're going to have to give up either bottom floor or roof or something. Because that, that building does have three floors. Yeah, this is a very interesting finish here. Much different than we saw last game. It's going to be, and you see that where the zone is going to wrap up. Both of the houses that TSM and NRG are in are in circle. So you got to think. It's going to be either TSM or NRG that win this game. Unless Complexity can sneak all the way around here outside of the battlefield. 
Will they do it? Yes, they will. They're running all the way outside of the map here on the edge of the map. They probably have no idea if this is going to work, and of course it is going to work. Complexity taking advantage of every single angle, and now Complexity find themselves in a good spot to win this. This is why, I got to say, I love our level designers. We got some great level designers that respawn, putting little nooks and crannies on the map like this, opening up great moments. What a finish this will be. We thought it was all TSM and NRG, and now it's Complexity who looks to be in a good position to close this out. Yeah, that was an oh, amazing rotation by yeah, them, and I've never seen that rotation before personally. The other day I was playing ranked, I went on to the outer edge of the map, and it just pushed me off. So luckily for them, <laughs> they're still in it, they're still in here, and they've got a really decent spot for winning this out. They are most likely going to encounter TSM perhaps first, yeah. because TSM's just towards the here. right. I don't know if TSM knows that they're there. I think Snipedown does. He's been looking. But I don't know why Complexity or how Complexity got spotted out right there. NRG would have had no idea. Now NRG has the intel, so they must have saw something. And now what was a Complexity, complete opportunity, just the element of surprise that they had, they no longer have. I think Snipedown knows they're there. I think NRG knows they're there. Complexity is spotted out, but that doesn't diminish the fact that they're still very well positioned. They're the team. It almost looks like a scene from World War II or something. The beaches of Normandy is they're going to be holding it down at the very out skirts the edge of the map on the rocks on the sand and holding it down for every other team that's gonna have to be pushing into their shots yeah i'm kind of taking my words back it looks like complexity has the better spot they do have a dome to protect them from nades or bombardment but all of the other teams are gonna have to focus each other before they focus complexity and there's 20 seconds left until this zone really decides to pull in and here goes tsm taking the bottom of the building of nrg i knew this was going to happen someone might take the very top um and look look at the arrow on the map it was about it was like an inch it wasn't that very big for tsm so they're also in contestant for winning this. The, everyone's taking the layers on this building right now. It's like an Oreo sandwich right now. We got the top cookie, we got the middle stuffing and the NRG, and then we got the bottom cookie and TSM. Triple stacked house here, stacked like pancakes, as we will see who will close this out with. Meanwhile, Complexity is just watching it all happen. Pow Pow still alive. You know, the former member of, of Counter Logic Gaming, alongside Vaxlon and Madness, formerly Skirt. He got dropped this season for Lou. And now has been really back with the vengeance here on BB Sandwiches. He's performed well. It's going to be a crazy finish here, girl. This is one of the most unique finishes. I'm excited. But it looks like all three of these teams are near where the zone's going to rotate. I don't know if it's going to be complex. They have the best position. Complexity actually is taking the side of the building. They decide, hey, we want to play on with you. So we're going to make this four layers instead of three. Monsoon's team doesn't decide to take the portal in just yet. They'll only use it if they absolutely need to. Monsoon decides to take back. Oh my goodness, who popped that ult? I'm not sure who that was. A little bit of an early ulti, and now the port's gonna have to hit. It's gonna force Complexity out, and here comes Complexity in the very corner of the map right now that they possibly can. Final ring is closing, 30 seconds remain in this fight. It's gonna come down to four final squads here, three layered approach, every team is just around in this building. Saucer is on top right now of the pedestal, putting in absolute work. Four people alone right below them, like rats in a cage right now. Here comes the push from Saucer. He takes out one. Not done yet. Saucer looking for a second shot, not going to connect. He's going to be tagged up and barely cues his way to buy himself some potential placement. TSM, it's reps and sniped down the last two alive. Putting in absolute work with the G7 scout is reps. All up to reps and TSM are going to do it. You're champions of game number four. What a performance.